a big area of focus for the governor will be the Portland metro area. And tonight we're hearing reaction to Governor Kotek's plan to get people off the street. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with a business owner in Old Town who's seen this crisis firsthand. And Drew, what did she have to say? Jesse Burke owns the Society Hotel and says while these executive orders are encouraging, a lot more needs to be done to address the addiction and mental health crisis she sees on the street daily. I see us as sort of ground zero for worst case scenario of everything. Jesse Burke is the CEO of the Society Hotel in Old Town and chair of the Old Town Community Association. She's been vocal about addressing drug use and crime in the area and getting houseless folks the help they need. Almost a year ago, she helped the city come up with a 90-day reset plan focusing on cleaning up Old Town, creating a central database for available shelter beds in the city, and asking for more lighting. It's uh, twofold. Both it's more attractive and that one of our big issues was the darkness. Um, there's a lot more um, bad behavior when it's dark. While the Old Town reset only officially lasted 90 days, she says they're still making improvements. Now, state leadership is stepping in. In just the first few days in office, Governor Tina Kotek signed three executive orders. One declares the homeless crisis a state of emergency, and another directs state agencies to prioritize reducing sheltered and unsheltered homelessness. Kotek also set an ambitious goal to build 36,000 homes every year, but Burke says she's not celebrating this just yet. I'm not going to say I'm optimistic. I just, it's encouraging because, you know, we're 10 days in <laughs> to the new year. Um, but I think as someone that's on the ground every single day, uh, and you've, you can hear me say it in any press conference, this is not necessarily a housing crisis uh, in my mind. Paired with those, Kotex third order proposes a $130 million investment, hoping to get 1,200 Oregonians off the street in a year and expand shelter beds by 600. Burke thinks it's going to take bolder action to address the deeper issues that are at play, like addiction and mental health crises. If you believe that outside is merely housing, you are not involved and you are not paying attention. And so it's fine that we can declare a state of emergency for housing. That is not what's happening outside. And I would love for someone to declare a state of emergency for what's happening outside. Governor Kotek says behavioral health access to behavioral health resources is another part of her plan to help get people off of the streets. Live in Southwest Portland, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.